everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be showing you um this gorgeous ring um that i got from a company called joe mosey that sell um jewelry basically um inside the packet is um oh, i just want to show you the ring but i can't yet just wait right so you get um, each Joe Mosey uh, piece of jewelry comes in a boutique box that has an attached LED light inside. So when you open it up, you get this. It just shines on the piece of jewelry, which I think is amazing. Um, it also comes with a, a specific GRA gem report uh, for warranty and a certificate of the Moistenite gem, which I will show you here in a minute. So this is all, this is just telling you about the stone in the ring um so as i said before it is moissanite um which is a near colorless gemstone which is a really affordable alternative to diamonds and you get just as much sparkle from it which i was really pleased with so this is the gra report so this is telling you about the stone in the particular ring that i have um that they sent me um i also thought actually these would make really nice little um because lots of you like myself use the um flexi hand or another practice hand and oh look this is the ring this is so this is the exact ring that they've sent me so all the information on the uh paperwork here will be specific to the ring that they have sent me okay so each piece of jewelry will have um the gem report that is specific to that ring i hope that's making sense there we go. And I just wanted to show you that they, you know, they all sort of, what's the word? Um, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> so I'm going to put these away and I'm going to show you the ring. Ooh, I love it so much. I'm actually wearing it right now. I think, I feel like it's too nice for my flexi hand, if I'm completely honest. But it would make a really nice, um... Uh, I like putting rings on my flexi hand. I think it makes them look a little bit more real. So this is the box. The box feels really nice. And I know we're not really interested in the box. But I the box felt like velvety smooth. It was so nice. Um, and just wait for this. I wasn't expecting this. It just, I was just feeling it because it just feels really nice. <laughs> I like touching things. I'm, sometimes I'm quite touchy-feely. Look, ready? You ready? Drum roll. I was like, shall I look? Yeah, anyway, right, look. You can see the light. Right, look, how fun is that? How cool is that little... I've never seen... I know it sounds stupid. I've never seen a little LED light inside a box. I used to work in um, two uh, really old-fashioned jewellers. And, um, yeah, I, so I... Personally, I love jewellery. Um, I... Oh, so much so when they offered when they said to me would i like to um review this ring look i'm just playing with a box i jumped to the chance because um yeah i i really enjoy jewelry and talking about jewelry <laughs> so that is the box i've turned my light back on so we can see uh, a bit better so um this is uh pretty much like a clustering um, you've got that big stone in the middle and you've got some little stones surrounding it. You've got some stones um, set into the shoulders there. And also the good thing about these is the bottom of the shank there is adjustable. So you can sort of stretch it or push it in to fit your finger size i wouldn't stretch it out too far because it has got stones in the shoulders and if you stretch it out too much it will um you might end up with those stones. i don't know you might not do but i if you just were to stretch it too much i would be worried that the stones in the shoulders may pop out they might not do but that is just my first thought um but yeah but the good thing is you can you do have that flexibility with sizing um, so it's a brilliant cut stone in the centre. Brilliant cut stones are basically cut to get the most fire from a stone. So like when the light goes in, it bounces around inside the stone and then it sort of like, as it comes out, that's when it gives you the most fire. Um, I'm just showing you it on my flexi hand here. I'm just sort of getting it sorted. Sorted. <laughs> on that so there we go look i've done this this is an old set of nails that i done 
Um, I'm not going to lie though, I have had this ring for a little while and I just haven't got round to actually recording the video. But it just adds a nice touch to these silicon hands. If you're anything like me though, I am actually going to keep it for myself. And I wanted to show you inside, it has got that 925 stamp, which um, as far as I'm aware, they are um, sterling silver. So... Um, yeah, so I, w I just wanted to show you under this light because it was a different light. So from here, you can really see the fire inside that stone. It looks really nice. So let's get on with the nail design. Now, I don't think it's the best nail design I've ever done, but what I wanted to do was kind of pretty much recreate the ring on a nail. Um, so I'm using some crystals from the crystal parade to do this. So we've got our big center stone and then you'll see you've got these six claws around the outside. We're going to use micro beads and then we're going to use some really tiny SS3 stones to create the, the little, uh, the little cluster. And then, um, we'll see how we get on with the shoulders, but I don't know that we'll have much room to play because I kind of want the, the main head of the ring to be the you know the main focus so i'm using this blue gel polish uh from bling line i don't know how to pronounce the name i think it's ritva and no, i don't know how to say it ritva is how i'd say it but i might be saying it wrong um that is the blue that's the name of the blue um the bling line um gel polishes are available from the little nail shop you can get 10 percent off using my code now 10 um, all the links will be in the description box below. As with the Joe Mosi website, um, it's joemosi.com. I'll leave the information in the description box below. I do also have a Nat Mug 10 code for you to get some um, money off the rings. They do sell other items of jewelry as well, not just rings. So go, do go in and check it out. And do you know what? Even if you feel like they're too nice for your flexi hand, you can treat yourself. I think the way the world is at the minute we could all do with a little treat and why not treat yourself hint hint nudge nudge i'm terrible at treating myself when i get down i'm like right i'm gonna go and buy something <laughs> that is my therapy it's retail therapy that's how i get through things which is probably why i'm always skint not that i'm always depressed oh my god that sounded really bad anyway get on with the nails i'm applying the matte top finish to the nails because we're gonna we're gonna make these matte i want them to kind of match the outside of the box almost um and this is how this is the the closest blue i think i had it actually this is the only no i've got two blues actually in the bling line gel polish but one is too bright um this was the closest that i had uh, make sure the only thing is with these silicon hands you get little you get bits sticking to them like especially hairs and fibers so you have to be careful when you are top coating or applying the gel polish that you don't get those little hairs in the gel because they do like to join you they like to be involved and we don't want them to be involved really so once i have done this i'm going to pop them in the lamp to cure for uh 60 seconds and then we can crack on with the gem, the crystal design. Oh, look, there was a there was a hair that wanted to get involved there. I don't even think it was a hair. It was a fibre of some sort. Right, pop that into the lamp. Um, it's going to have a tacky layer. So we're going to use some isopropyl alcohol to wipe off that tacky layer. If you don't have ice... If, <laughs> if you don't have um, alcohol, you can use um, gel cleanse. That is going to be ideal. Okay, so we're ready to work now. I want to see you work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need some silver gel paint. I am using the Bling Line Silver Gel. gel da, 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 da. I cannot talk today. Can't talk. There we go. Right, these are the crystals we're using. So the big one, I think, might be an SS12 or an SS16. I can't remember. Um, but it is a clear preciosa stone from the Crystal Parade. And the smaller ones I'm using are the very teeny tiny SS3s. Um, what I'm doing is I've got the ring on my thumb so that I can just keep an eye on the ring so that I make sure that the design that I want is what I'm doing. I think I'm making sense. Probably not though, because I don't often make sense. But I'm going to use the gel paint to outline the head of the ring. I always, t I always take too much gel paint out of the tube. This is why I don't like tubes, but they do have gel paints in pots. The bling line do. Um, so I'm just sort of outlining 
or like recreating the outline of the head of the ring almost like a flower shape and I also used the wrong brush this was my brush that I used to apply my gem glue and um, it's basically my nap mug detailer brush but it's it's a bit knackered um, and I meant to use my other one the proper one that's not knackered so there we go I'm gonna pop that in the lamp so we've got like now our base now I'm gonna put some curable gem glue in the center of the what will be the cluster or the flower shape I don't know what you want to call it okay place that center stone in the middle on top of that gem glue just gently press it down and then once it's pretty much in the center which I feel like that is you have to excuse the state of my nails they need doing um, yeah okay and now you can see these little um, the claws that hold that center stone in we're gonna replace those with the silver micro beads but I'm gonna place around the outside those little tiny SS3s as well and I'm putting the gem glue I was gonna do it bit by bit but you'll see in a minute I'm placing the two two tiny stones at the top these are the SS3s And I'm leaving a slight gap between them and that center stone because they're not all going to fit around if I squidge them right up. Also, I want to get the micro beads in between the center stone and those stones to, um, to recreate the claws. So what I decided to do was, you can do this bit at a time, I decided to go around that whole stone with some gem glue. And then I will put the stones on and it, yeah so you can flash cure as you go i didn't want to because i'm too impatient <laughs> so here we go so i'm gonna pop two eight sets no one two three four five six one two three six pairs of little stones around the outside is that six one two that is six yeah that's 12 stones all together yes i can count but only on a Tuesday. Okay, so when we've got those on, right, don't forget, I haven't cured the outside stones yet. I'm not going to actually do it yet. Um, right, so I just want to show you here. We've got six claws. So I'm just going to use my little brush with some gem glue on, and I'm going to poke that between the little stones and the big stones where I want those claws to be. And then what I'll do is, using my pointy dotting tool i'm going to pick up a little tiny micro bead and place that where the claws would go so i've put two on i'm now just going to take some more gem glue i'm going to speed this bit up um, you're going to probably struggle to see this because i've sped it up and i'm probably wiggling all over the place this is what happens when i try and zoom in um there we go so we've got six claws in bunny ears going in but they're just going to look like they're holding the stone in place so i'm just going to put those where i put that gem glue okay and then i'm just going to make sure everything is placed roughly where i want it see see what we get see what we're doing Ta -da! and then i'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure then i decided because the ring has got little stones down the shoulders that i'd add some on here but you can see where my design is slightly off center silly billy um it i tried to put on the left hand side as you look at it i tried to put two lots of two micro beads and um and then I only put one lot of two on the other side and it looked, it just looked off, even more off than it is. <laughs> so I ended up just putting two sets, one set of micro bead and a tiny SS3 on each side. There we go. If you want, you can just leave that as a complete cluster. You don't have to pretend to do the shoulders, not pretend, but you don't have to do the shoulders, you know, with the, di with the diamonds down, not the diamonds, with the moistenite stones down the side. You can just leave it like that. 
um, but I'm going to show you now with the little ring on. So once you've done your designs, you can just pop your ring on, take a photo with the ring on, and it just adds a little bit of sparkle <laughs> to the to the set. And it just make I think it just makes the nail look a little bit more. I know just the, the hand look a little bit more lifelike so don't forget you can get 10% off using my code natmug10 i'll leave the link to the ring and the website in the description box below thank you for watching and i will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video love you all bye